Well, hello and welcome again to our reading of the prologue of the Back Eye of Euripides. And we were up to line 43. Now, we have Cadmus menun geras tekai turanida penthe, didos in thugatros ek pemfukoti, hos theomake ta cat em me kai spondon apo. And then in the next section to get our main verb, we have um, othe me en yukais te udemo mene an eke. Now, menun, as I mentioned, may have mentioned before, introduces a new idea, a new uh, theme. And so we have then um, Cadmos, then, historic present gives, is Geras. Now, Geras, uh, it means privilege, here, sort of privileged position or position as, as the ruler. And Turanis is his tyranny, so his position as tyrant. So it's something like Cadmus gives to Pentheus, dative, his uh, noble position and his tyrannical power. Uh, to Pentheus, ek per fucoti, this is perfect from ek fuo, who the one having been the, the one having um, been born, uh, thugatros from his daughter, the one who was born from his daughter. Hos, theomache, now this is a verb, theomachio, it's interesting that the verb itself uh, appears in the Greek translation of the Old Testament, the Septuagint, but in one of the late works, the uh, second book of Maccabees, and the noun, theomachos, occurs in, in the New Testament. It may have been coined here by Euripides, um, but this play was very uh, popular and was often reproduced in the centuries to come and you the word must have come into the Greek language more commonly and it's rare in the biblical writings but it does occur there could be by accident both being religious themes but there it is so who literally uh, battles with a god and it's taking this object tar cat eme in the matters reg uh, regarding me. Um, so, just who fights against me who am a god. So, it's sort of he fights against me and everything I stand for, almost, in this, this expression. Kai um, spondon apot, notice the accent on apot, so it refers back to the spondone. Spondo in the plural is often used of, um, of armies when they make a truce, but here it's the original meaning spendamite, to pour a libation. So, from my libations, and the main verb is oath they met, so he pushes me away uh, from, my, from libations, so he denies um, me receiving um, uh, um, these spondo. Um, and uh, Eke Mene Meon, he has a remembrance, understand, of me, uh, nowhere in prayers. So he makes no mention of me anywhere in the public prayers. Hone Hunek, for which reason, in Daxamai, I will show, I will reveal, Auto to him and to all the Thebans, I will reveal that I was born um, Theos, a god. Perfect participle here from Ginnamai. Es alen chthona tanthendi themenos you metasteso poda degnus emauton. Uh, and when I had literally having placed the affairs here well, so once I've sorted out everything here, when I've set things here aright, uh, revealing myself, metastaso, literally I will transfer my foot into another land. 
so uh, I will perhaps I will wend my way into another land. And he doesn't, of course, reveal his true self until much later in the play. Ein de Thebion polis or ge sun hoplois ex orus bacas again sete sun apso minus in strate latone. So if the um, if the city of the Thebans, Orge in its anger, Sete might seek Sun Hoplois with weapons, so armed, to lead my Bacchants, ex Oros, this is genitive from to Oros, from the mountain, Sun Apso, I will engage, understand, with them, uh, giving command with my maynets, with my maddened women. This is uh, connected with Stratos, an army in the Eilat is connected with that Elauno, so driving an army on and so taking command. So taking command, I will uh, engage with them understood um, by means of my, my, my maynets. Uh, Hone Hunek, for which reason Edos Thneton Alaxas Echo, Morphane Temain Metebelon S Andros Fusin. Now we get here a construction with Echo plus the um, participle, which is often known as the schema Sophocleum, the way of, of expressing it that's very common in Sophocles, but it also is common in Euripides as well, where you use echo plus a uh, participle, often used is, is equivalent to a perfect tense. So a lasso is to change uh, so or to alter. So for which reason I have exchanged understand my divinity for a mortal Eidos appearance uh, and Metabolon and I have changed my Morphan, my form, a Sfusin Andros into the nature of a man. So he, Dionysus is uh, changing his, his divinity, his divine appearance into that of a human being uh, in order that um, he can get revenge on them for what, what for on Pentheus for denying him his divinity and his uh, the rights as a god. Al o lipusai tmolon eroma ludias diasos emos gunaikes has ek babaron e komesa paredrus kai sun emporus emoi. Now, Allah often means come rather than translated as but, and I often prefer, especially in poetry, to translate it that way. So it's come, um, O women, uh, Theasos Emos, my sacred band. The Theasos means a holy troop or a holy band. Women having left the uh, Eruma, the bulwark, uh, sorry, Timolon, the bulwark of Lydia. So Timolos was a mountain ridge, and it's an Eruma in the sense that it, it protects uh, Lydia. It's a mountain ridge protecting, so bulwark of Lydia, apparently famous for its vineyards. So having left this Timolos, bulwark of Lydia, uh, the, the women whom I brought, I conveyed from Comisdo, from the barbarians, um, as paredrus, literally people who stand beside you, and hence assistance, kai sun emporusemoi, and fellow travellers with me, and we have an imperative iris there. 
take up uh, tapikorin pole fugon timpana rios temetros emma thiu mata. So take up your the native the things belonging to the land. So take up your native tumpana. These are drums. Um, in the city of the Phrygians, perhaps it is uh, native to the city of the Phrygians, so take up your drums which are native to the city of the Phrygians. Uh, uh, Hurematur invention, my inventions, and those of my mother Rhea. Now, because he doesn't mean literally mother here, because Semele is his mother. Uh, in Homer, Rhea was the mother of Zeus and many other gods, and so um, this later gets she later gets identified with the Asiatic goddess Kibele. Uh, so here it's it's almost perhaps grandmother, but it is Metros, perhaps my female um, forebear, um, and Elthusai having come around the Basilea Domata, the royal houses of Pentheus, Ktupete, again imperative, from Ktupio, to beat or strike, tardy them. Um, no, in fact, I think the tardy goes with the Domata, so this would be a deictic again, and so he's pointing to the scene, which telling us then also that this scene is the royal houses of Pentheus. So having come to around these royal houses of Pentheus, Ketupete, uh, beat, understand the drums, hose, so that the city Cadmu of Cadmus, Hora, sees, Ego de Bacchis es uh, Kithironos Ptulkas, Elthone Hinesi sum metasceso coron. But I, and our main verb is here, it's sum plus meta plus echo. So I will have a share in the dancing, it takes a genitive here, and then a dative with the, with the back eye. In the uh, patukas, uh, well, folds or perhaps glens here. In the glens of Kithiron, this is the mountain of Thebes, having come, so I having come, hin aci, now hina can mean um, where, which it does here, so where they are. So I will have a share in the dance in the glens of Kithiron with my bacchants, I having come where they are. And that's the end of the prologos, and I highly um, encourage you to read the rest of the play. It is an amazing play, one of Euripides' best, and one that was very popular in, and often re-performed in antiquity.